Going into the World Cup, I just expected the team to really come together. In the qualifying rounds in the CONCACAF championships, we did what many didn't even think was possible. You know, we knocked out USA and then we also beat Canada. When I was a little girl playing soccer, I started off playing forward and it was rec soccer so we would scrimmage like boys our age and stuff and I would remember just dribbling past all of them and then shooting and if I wouldn't score I'd like run all the way back and defend and then I'd go all the way up again. I was not a good player back then. <laughs> I'd follow the ball everywhere but it was fun. Uh, nosotros llevamos a Vanessa para que hiciera algo de ejercicio. La llevamos a YMCA y empezó ahí a jugar como diversión, o sea, nada más este, jugando recreativo. recreativo. Nosotros la, la pusimos a hacer deporte para que estuviera activa. I was eight when I first started playing defense, but my team was more of a kickball type team, I guess, so I didn't really develop my skills that much then. I was more physical, just relied on my speed and stuff rather than my technique. Developing my physical techniques when I was younger did, does help me now because to play at a high level, you can't just be good because you get knocked off the ball easily. You have to be able to compete with girls that are twice your size or with girls that are half your size. The first time Vanessa walked into my office, I thought, I like the height. I wish she was probably a little bit bigger. You know, is she going to be a player that could is going to get pushed off the ball? Um, that was probably my biggest concern when I hear that she's a defender. Um, boy, was I surprised. I wasn't pushed to play soccer. I chose to because it's a very well-rounded sport. It's not just throwing a ball and hitting it with a bat or just running into people. You have to be both technical and physical and you have to be smart. It's, it's unbelievable to have a player of her caliber um, on your team. She's the captain of my defense and, and I'm constantly looking to her and saying, do you have anything else to add? She's, uh, she's the type of player you want to coach. She works hard, she has a great spirit about herself, and she's so humble. She doesn't act like she's bigger than, than the game. She doesn't act like she's bigger than her teammates. Uh, she's out there coaching and she'll pull people aside. Okay, look, you see how we played it this way? Well, let's, this is the way we want to try and do it. And so um, to, to have a player like that, if, if that's the only player that I ever coached, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that I've gotten the opportunity to coach her. Nosotros vemos a Vanessa como un líder en el campo y nos sentimos muy orgullosos porque ella entrega todo el corazón al, al tiempo de jugar. No es nada más de ir a pasar el tiempo, el rato, eh, y ella pone todo su, lo mejor de ella en el juego. Para mí este, es, es un orgullo verla este, jugar a este nivel y haberla visto crecer, o sea, empezar desde pequeña y ver hasta dónde ha llegado y cómo se ha desempeñado es este, algo que nunca me imaginé. Como dice mi esposo, le empezamos como algo recreativo para que ellos hicieran, ella hiciera algo de ejercicio, que estuviera activa, este, pero nunca nos imaginamos que iba a llegar a algo tan grande. O sea, es una oportunidad que no se le presenta a cualquiera y pues estamos muy orgullosos. The experience was amazing. It was one of a kind, and it's really hard to put into words what we felt, what we lived through. But every time I remember the whole tournament, I just remember the laughing, the jokes we had. You know, I don't really remember, oh, we lost against Nigeria and Japan. I'm like, no, we did something that none of the teams had done. We also won the heart of Mexico. We have so much more support now than we did before, and that's just pretty amazing. Several people tell me that I should expect to move on to the 20s, but I don't want to expect anything yet. 
I want to take things day by day and keep working to improve myself. I don't want to get my hopes up and then one day notice that I never got called back. I just hope I do. It's my goal to. I want to keep playing with the national team, but if it doesn't happen, I will just be thankful for the opportunity that I did have. Mm -hmm.